Taiho Shichaozo. I think that's Japanese for you're under arrest. I say that because this is another one of these Abunai Deka cars made by Aoshima. And uh, this is from a series you can see in this photograph back here. There were uh, apparently five different cars, and what I see is a Leopard, uh, the Sapiro here today, a Gloria, I think that's a Cedric, and then I have the Skyline GTR that, uh, it's not a GTR, it's a GTS R, R31. And I did a video on this on May 1st, 2021, if you want to look into that, just do a search for it. Okay, but today we're looking at the Sapiro, which I really know nothing about, so I did a little bit of research, but uh, let's just take this uh, the package here. I think this might be brand new, because this tape here looks like it's still sealed, so let's get the little axe out. Yep. So, blister pack here. This is a Japanese uh, detective TV show. A bunch of cops running around in various uh, Japanese car chases, I guess, chasing down the bad guys. Uh, so, <coughs> so I'm sorry, I can't really read any of that. All I know is the A31 is the chassis code or body code for this particular Sephiro. And uh, the Sephiro is actually uh, it's Spanish for the breeze. The Spanish language of breeze in English is Sephiro. So that's where the car gets its name from. And uh, this car is considered a mid-sized class car, and it was sold in, I guess, Japan between 1988 and 1994. And I think this is the first generation. There was a facelifted version in 1990, but uh, when I look up this image here, let's take a look at this thing. This is a 1998 model, and the wheels are the same, so, you know, that, but deductive reasoning makes me think this is an 88. Okay, so yeah, you can pause it if you wish. I think it looks relatively close to what's going on in that photograph though, right? Okay, other than the red police light on the roof. Okay, a couple different engine choices. Anything from as small of a 2 liter inline 4 up front up to a 2.5 liter inline 6 up front. And it shared its transmission, engine, and suspension setup with the R32 Skyline but the chassis itself was shared with the Nissan Laurel. And supposedly it was actually a little more expensive than a regular equivalent Skyline uh, because there are some more luxurious goods, I guess, like these projector beam headlights. It had an auto tinting rear view mirror, electric seats, automatic headlights. I mean, you know, they turn on when it gets dark, I guess. Uh, steering, mount, steering wheel mounted controls, four wheel steering, and an adjustable suspension system and then uh, it had four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive system. So this is back in the late uh, 80s, early 90s. So that's a lot of technology going on inside of this thing. All right, so <clears throat> I guess that's enough uh, about the stats on this vehicle. Let's look at the model here. So first off the bat, you know, the rubber tire. It's got some, uh, I think I could probably clip that off. There, it's gone. All right, so it's common with a lot of Aoshimas, they blank off their wheels, which is quite lazy. This could easily have air between the spokes, but Aoshima is weird. They just do the lazy wheel thing. Okay, but the rest of the model looks alright. I mean, you got these nice door handles sticking out of the body and in the body for the hand to grab. A little key lock mechanism. These door panel gaps are pretty thin. Right? Although this fuel filler one is much wider. It's kind of weird. Uh, you got this black molded uh, printing here on there and this one doesn't have black but neither does the real car and then it returns to black here so that's actually pretty accurate if you want to rewind the video okay some black uh, and silver paint here around the windows it looks accurate okay the mirror has no silver though Right. Well, let's go to the front. This license plate must be from one of the police cars in the TV show because the other one, the other model I'll bring out in a second, it has an accurate license plate. So these headlamps look pretty good. I mean, there's a plastic a lens, and then you can see like the projector beams behind it. So that's pretty cool. The grill has a little indentation, and it's black there. These little markers are just painted orange, but the side one is orange and is still plastic. Seems to have like a light here on the side of the real car. It's kind of weird. Not sure why it would have a light down there. Okay, and then the, the bottom vents here. Yeah, they have some depth to them. And there's black back there. The treads look pretty good. 
And uh, like most Ayashimas, there's no information on the bottom other than the fact it's made in China like everything else, right? Okay. So now, what about this side? Okay, that little black seems to be missing there. This is a really nice green color. It's, it's like a, a really light metallic green, but it's nice. Okay, a little black seems to be missing from there as well. Uh, <clears throat> kind of a lame exhaust tip, you know, they're just blanked off. But again, the license plate looks good. It's accurate to the TV show, I imagine. This nice plastic back light cluster is really nice because you got a good break between the blinkers and the brake lights and then even the, the rear lights are white, so that's good. Interesting that there's no Nissan printing. I can't see anything saying Nissan or Sephiro. So, I don't know. Maybe the real TV car? They pulled all the badges off? Or Yoshima was just lazy. I'm not sure what, what the case is. Okay, the roof here looks pretty good. The hood here, I'm wondering if there's some paint rash there. No, maybe it's not. Okay, well, I gotta say, for a model that's over 10 years old, did I mention this? I think this set came out in 2009. So this paint is actually quite nice. It's uh, pretty much flawless. Maybe I'll catch something wrong with it later, but like there's no gouges, paint rash, scratches, so. All right, and then you do have the little police light here. I don't know if that's, I think that's just glued on, okay? And then, unfortunately, with Aoshima, you just got a black interior. Molded details, but you can't see much of it because it's all, uh, well, actually, because of the sunroof, you can actually see a little bit of the seat in there, so that's better than usual. Okay, so yeah, again, it's a pretty nice model. This one actually rolls for the for people that care about that. Uh, it's nice that it's screwed together, so you could repaint that interior if you wanted to. Okay, let's put it up on the spin thing. Let me get one more, one last chance of uh, spinning glory here, and I'll pull out the uh, Skyline. The so this is an R31 Skyline from the same collection. And uh, I did find a photo of this car with that license plate number, so it is from the TV show. And now I'm looking at this. This has no badging on the back either. Nothing saying Nissan or Skyline or anything like that. But it has the coolest taillights. Look, they, they almost look illuminated, right? At least they do to my eye. So these are the coolest taillights I've seen in 164 scale because they look like they're lit up. So very neat. Okay, so let's uh, put these next to each other. Yeah, you know, they're both Nissans, very similar. It's kind of weird that they would have such similar vehicles. They're both four doors, both are approximately the same sizes. And uh, yeah, it's weird. Nissan's just putting out almost very similar cars. They're competing against themselves. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's it for today. It's pretty interesting, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Maybe you want to check out this Abu Nai Deka. There's a picture of it again. And uh, again, if you want to see it out of the car, back on May 1st, 2021, I did a video on the Skyline. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next review. Thanks for watching.